What is happening, YouTube? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You already know what it is. Today is another one of those days that end in Y, so you know that makes it a great day to go fishing. It is dry as there. And, and, and I'm out here. Ooh, I'm out here on the water today. Coming out here on old Coney on a rainy day to catch some of these old Coney horses. Now, this one is a nice fish. This one's an eater. But... The weatherman, for, oh boy, he wasn't even look good either. Um, weatherman called for a little bit of rain today, and I saw a small window that I might be able to get out and catch a couple of these fish. So, I'm going to see how much I can catch. I got my rain suit on the boat, uh, but I had this itch and I couldn't help but to scratch it. So, thank you all for tuning in. Hey, if you have not already done so, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there, along with that bell, so that you get notified when I post new videos. Uh, let's see how we do on this episode of Crappy Fish with Drysdale. Let's go get them. Good drizzle, good drizzle. Good amount of drizzle. Let's see, if that, let's see if I can catch some fish today. I don't like my boat position. I don't like to fish behind the boat. I like to fish where my stuff is pointed forward. So I'm going to back the boat up a little bit get a better position that's one thing folks don't pay enough attention to boat position is critical when you are trying to target some decent fish can't just get out there and just sit on them all right let me get my clothes on because even when i sit down my pants are getting wet so i'll be right back let me lock on oh you came up a long way to get that you came up a long way to get that big Shirley alert, folks. Big Shirley. Big Shirley. Ooh, you got a bad eye, too. Something done bit you. Something poked your eye out. They hit, I hit that. Uh, this fish hit on the jiggle wiggle. Look at that big Shirley. Check out the eye on that. She got a black eye. A eye been put out or something. But uh, that's only the, that's the least of your problem, girl. That's the least of your problems. The fish don't mind getting wet today, folks. The fish don't mind getting wet. Hey, baby. Long way for this. wet folks I'm gonna keep saying that I'm gonna keep saying that because the weatherman called for rain and the fish said and it's probably gonna catch me about 10 keepers take home 10 10 keepers I'll be good it is Saturday morning let your pendulum back in two Fish, folks. She don't keep. So, 
I've been out of town this week with work. And all week long, I've been itching to come fish, but the weather forecast said rain all weekend. Just give me a short enough window, I'm gonna sneak out and jump out of it. There's another one. She gonna keep. I bet you she's right at ten. You keep still. I can see. I can check you out. It might be a little bit short, but I'm gonna measure you. I'm gonna measure you, Big Play Ray. I measured it just for the sake. Of, I think your fish is short. Big Play Ray, this was for you. I'm gonna measure it. It was just under ten inches. Not much. If he would have exhaled, he'd have been over. But it was just under. But I calibrated. Another purdy, 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 purdy. She right at ten. Yeah, that's another decent fish. That's a big, big, big. She gonna qualify as a big Shirley. She might qualify as a big Shirley. She qualifies as a big Shirley. She's a big Shirley. I got battery. <laughs> he caught this little one up underneath. Spooked all the other fish. Spooked all the other fish. Little runt. Big one's supposed to be up underneath the, the, the school. What you doing down there, huh? What you doing down there, nursing? You must be nursing on Big Shirley down there, huh? Get on out of here now, get! While I'm at it, let me show y'all what I've been using. This is one of my Skittles. I don't even know what it's called, but of course it's a, it's one of those crappy baits by CMIs. But um, for those that don't know, I call a Skittle a 1 64th ounce jig with a 1 inch grub. Jig, 164th ounce jig head with a little one inch jig. It's a small bait, small presentation for uh, when fish are finicky or when you're fishing in still water. It drops slow, so you gotta be patient and wait on it to fall. Took me about a year to develop that patience, but I got it. Now, when I use bigger baits, I'm like, man, them baits fall so fast. Like 116th or 132nd ounce jig, like it falls so fast. Didn't feel him, I saw my line twitch. That's a good fish. That was a good fish. You go okay, baby. Hey baby. Hey baby. I didn't see you. I didn't feel you, but I saw my line twitch. And that's where you messed up. So what's the rationale? Why I call it a skittle? Why I call it a skittle? I call it a skittle because you don't have to be hungry to eat it. Thanksgiving dinner is a big is a big jig. So if they're hungry, they're gonna eat Thanksgiving dinner, but you won't always eat Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, you gotta be real hungry to eat a Thanksgiving dinner. A, a medium jig is a hamburger. Well, you may not want a hamburger. If you're not hungry, you're not gonna eat a hamburger. So you won't eat Thanksgiving dinner. You won't eat a hamburger if you're not hungry. But for me, my sweet treat or that thing that's always in front of me, I don't have to be hungry to eat, it's a Skittle. Just pop a Skittle and pick up a Skittle and, and, and and eat it, you don't have to be hungry. So crap, you don't have to be hungry to eat a Skittle. Small bait. I made 10 in my lab, well. 
all tens and tens. Short shot, made it. Bank. I want y'all to see too. You're catching all these fish on one bait. I haven't switched up my bait yet once I went to this uh, skittle. So, look at this here. Come here, get out of there. Look at that there. Earlier I showed y'all that bait and explained what the skittle was, but I had a conversation with somebody a little while ago and they asked, well, what makes crappy baits by CMI better than the other baits, any other, any of the other baits? Oh, 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 can I get him before he jumps off the boat? Oh, I threw that, I threw that fish off the back of the boat. Dang on it. Oh well, I missed my shot. But what makes crappy baits by CMI better than other baits? And I said, well, they work just as well as other baits. But what I have found, and as you see here, these crappy baits by CMI baits are just so much more durable. Now, because a lot of it Two is confidence in what you and what you believe in. So confidence on the water is a big deal too. But just looking at the amount of fish I've caught on this video, including this one, uh, just the amount of baits that I'm catching with this single bait separates them from some of the other bait providers, in my opinion. Now, if you got a tie jig or a fly jig and all of that, yeah, those are different uh, hair jigs, but I'm talking about soft plastics. That fish is, if I'm gonna think about it, I'm throwing it back, so I'm throwing it back. Another spot. We caught enough fish off of this one. I normally don't do this. Catch about five or six fish and move. Heck, at this rate, I'm only going to be able to hit three spots, two spots, and catch a limit. Nah, scale you just for the sake of scaling. Ten inches. Ten inches. Just over. Threw them off the back of the boat, too. That's two. I guess that means I ain't caring. All right, I moved to another spot put on my rain gear and I'm going back with my 1 16th ounce jig this one is this one is a big jig so I'm gonna call that the hamburger see if they eat a hamburger on this spot are they hungry so, now not when you bag them up folks are, oh that's a nice fish folks don't be paying attention to that they just look at the bag you're giving them you know I got a guy at the I got a guy at the barbershop. He wanted me to bring him some. I'll be forgetting. There's another good one, folks. Hey YouTube, I'm on the phone with T Bush, Hookset himself. Y'all see him in the video. Say something to the folks, Hookset. What up though? How y'all doing, Drysdale family? <laughs> All right. I'm 
Okay. That one's gonna keep. Had to be patient with him. Had to be patient. That's all. Just had to be patient. Wait on him. There he Glad I didn't listen to the weatherman today. Got some big Shirley's in the in the live well. All right, let's see if a greeter comes out again. I'm watching you this time. There's a greeter. They keep coming off of that. No, they keep coming out of the pile to say hello. And there's one got me. That one got me. That's another decent fish, folks. That's another decent fish. She's a nice one. She's a nice one. All right, folks, I'm going to put a couple more fish in this boat, uh, but that's going to do it for the video. And um, I want to tell you, thank you so much for watching again. Today was one of those days that I just said I got to get out and scratch that itch. And like I said a few times already, I just figured out that the fish don't mind getting a little bit wet. Did you, baby? You don't mind getting wet. No, I didn't mind getting wet, Drysdale. But hey, folks, uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. To all of my long-term term subscribers, Thank you for your continued support of this channel. And my new subscribers, welcome to the Drysdale family. If you just stumbled across this channel and you like the content, go ahead and hit that button right there, that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel along with that bell right there so that you'll get notified when I post new videos. Until next time, folks, remember, the best days to go fishing are the ones that end in Y. Drysdale out.